Hey everybody, it's Kristen here, sports dietitian, certified personal trainer, and founder of Elite Nutrition and Performance. And I'm gonna to talk to you today about what to feed your young athlete when they have a late night practice or a game. So here's the situation, it's nine o'clock at night, your athlete's just gotten home, they're starving, they've been playing for the past couple hours, and you don't know what to feed them. You don't wanna send them to bed on this full stomach, but at the same time, you don't wanna send them to bed on an empty stomach either. So what in the world do you feed them? And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So first of all, it's really important for your athlete to eat after a training session. Uh, that's when their muscles are uh, like a sponge and so they're gonna soak up a lot of nutrients. And when you're training, the, the goal is to actually kind of break down your muscles and by eating, that helps to fill back in your muscles so that you get training adaptation and you actually get better at your sport. So by not eating, it's doing your body a real disservice. So you really wanna make sure that you are giving your young athlete something to eat after a training session. And it doesn't have to be this huge gourmet meal where you need to be in the kitchen all night long whipping something up for them. It can be something really simple. So here are the three things that you really need to focus on after a training session. Number one is making sure that it contains protein. Uh, that's the, the biggest thing as far as uh, building muscle. Uh, well, I shouldn't say the biggest thing. One of the biggest things as far as building muscle and primarily you want something that has leucine in it and that uh, is an amino acid that helps to turn on muscle building. And leucine is found in uh, dairy, it's found in eggs, it's also found in meat. Uh, so, or anything that has branched chain amino acids, but all those foods have them. Uh, so you really wanna make sure that it's containing um, protein. And then secondly, you wanna make sure that it's containing carbohydrates. And carbohydrates is the other piece of the puzzle in terms of building muscle and also helping to refill those um, glycogen stores. So your muscle and your liver. Uh, so after a training session, usually those are depleted and that's going to give your athlete uh, the energy when they run out of fuel after what they just ate before a practice. So we wanna make sure that we're filling that back up and that also does help to build muscle, like I said. Um, number three is just a little bit of fat and that's gonna help to uh, make them feel fuller longer and kind of keep their food with them overnight. So let's talk about a couple different options of what you can feed them. Uh, so dairy, I mentioned, is a great one. So I have here milk, Greek yogurt, and some pineapple. And this is something that you can throw together to make a fruit smoothie. Super simple, just throw it all in the blender and you can add different things to it, like a little bit of peanut butter. It does not have to be pineapple. Whatever fruit that you have laying around, it could be a, a banana, whatever. A um, little bit of peanut butter or flaxseed or chia seed to give it a little bit of uh, fat in there and whatever you know your, your athlete likes. But basically these are the, the components. So uh, milk and yogurt are going to contain the protein, specifically leucine, also a little bit of carbohydrates. The fruit is going to contain carbohydrates and the fruit, uh, fructose, that's it, frown and fruit, is a little bit of a different sugar than what is going to be found in milk. So you're gonna get lactose sugar out of uh, milk, you're going to get fructose out of fruit, and both of these are going to get absorbed at different rates, which is what you want. And so it's a good thing to combine your carbohydrates. So make a quick fruit smoothie, super easy. Another option is to make a egg sandwich. So just, you could either uh, scramble up some eggs real quick, or you can make this ahead of time. If you know that your athlete is going to have a, a couple late night practices in a row, you can kind of make like an egg bake. Um, so a couple eggs and some bread, throw, it, throw your bread in the toaster, put your eggs on top, voila, you have an egg sandwich, great. Uh, if your athlete already ate dinner before their practice and they just need something quick and easy and light, um, string cheese, you could do a couple of these, and some applesauce or any type of fruit that you have available, that is fine. Um, so this is a really quick and easy snack that they can have when they get home and then they can you know, get ready for bed and move on with life. Now, if your athlete does not want to mess with any of this real food, uh, and you just need something really quick and easy and you even wanna do this on the ride home from practice, this is when I would recommend doing a protein powder. I generally like to do real food over protein powders, but if there's a special circumstance, then this would be fine. Uh, so this is a, a vegan uh, powder, so this is a pea protein, and uh, this one is actually Vega, Vega, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, Sport, 
which does contain branched chain amino acids in it. Um, but there are lots of other options out there. So um, this would be a good one uh, specifically for post-workout or post-training. So you could just mix this with water, um, something that they can carry with them in their bag, just like a little water bottle filled with the protein powder. If they can add a little bit of water to it, shake it up, and then they can drink it on the ride home or when they get home, that's fine too. So any of these options would work for a late night practice or a late night game. And depending on how long they've been training for, um, that's how, how you're gonna determine how much they should be eating. But you have lots of different options here. And if you need help with that, figuring out a specific sports nutrition plan for your young athlete, as far as what to feed them, how much to feed them, all the things, you can reach out to me to set up a free no obligation consultation. I'll include the link below and you can also download my free report and that will give you lots of information on how to fuel uh, your body as well. And that link will be included below. Thanks for watching guys and have a great rest of the day and please feel free to share this video.